And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, a few scattered showers and storms last night and this morning. Bit of a lull this afternoon, but a lot of storms in southern Indiana. Notice how these have fallen apart, but the rain cooled air has surged northward, and there's a little outflow boundary surging it from the south. And that may be a trigger for a couple showers and storms this evening, perhaps even tonight, even though the front's going to kind of get hung up just south of the viewing area. And we kind of see that outflow boundary right now on our uh, Renaissance cam. It's just represented by these puffy cumulus clouds bubbling up as the outflow boundary moves northward and kind of acts like a snow plow pushing the warm, juicy air upward, producing those clouds. So with the boundary about right here and as it moves northward, it may spark a couple showers or thunderstorms this evening. We've got one little shower near a forest, approaching forest from the southeast here in parts of Clinton County. It's moving up that way. So again, be aware of that if you're headed out and about. Uh, for anything outdoors this evening, 80 at 8, 73 10, and then we're headed for another mild overnight low right around 62 degrees. The next several days will be very warm with a few widely scattered showers and storms with about 30% coverage tomorrow, Saturday into Sunday. Now, there is potential of an isolated severe storm tomorrow with slightly better dynamics up in the atmosphere in place. Monday, Tuesday, one, perhaps two rounds of strong to severe thunderstorms with generally about a one to three inch total rainfall by Tuesday night from all of this. And a good chunk of that may be Monday on into Tuesday. Tonight, though, upper 50s far north, Winnemac, Rochester, Logansport, but 59 Burlington, 62 Lafayette, 64 Covington, Crawfordsville, 65 Ladoga, down towards Darlington. And there actually may be some patches of fog very late as the winds calm down. So, Again, if you're headed off to work early tomorrow morning, you may run into a couple walls of fog here and there. 82 for the high tomorrow, Lafayette, 83 Winnemac, and 81 Ladoga. And the same thing on Saturday, more low 80s in the forecast. So tonight, a few spotty showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow, it's the same thing. Scattered showers and thunderstorms bubbling up in the heating of the day. That's 1.53 p.m. There will be a few linger into tomorrow night, though the trend will be for a lot of these to diminish. That's 11 o'clock. Saturday, same song and dance. A few scattered showers and storms will bubble up in the heating of the day with highs back in the 80s. The more organized storms will start to get in here specifically by Monday. Even though the severe threat is going to stay west of us, really from now right up to Sunday with maybe an isolated severe storm Friday, West to here, that's where the tornado action is going to be and the large hail and wind. Now, eventually, that will move eastward. So, Monday, Tuesday, one, perhaps two rounds of strong to severe storms with us. Though it looks like the best chance of tornadoes right now just west of the viewing area. But we got to keep an eye on that. That's awfully close to our area. Seven day forecast, it stays warm. In fact, by the weekend, specifically late in the weekend, 87 Sunday, 87 on Monday. 80 Tuesday and then back to 69 Wednesday as the showers end. So we'll have to keep an eye on Monday and Tuesday as the severe weather threat starts to increase quite a bit. Right. And a reminder that uh, in Texas tonight. Uh, yeah, that, right now.